You have to walk before you can run, crawl before you can walk, and make it through a pelvis before you can crawl. Hello bipeds, Julian here for D News. Compared to other animals, humans have a lot going for us. We're intelligent, we're long lived, we have the internet. But in some areas, we get left in the dust. Take walking for instance. While newborn horses are standing up and walking within hours of their birth, dumb old babies take a year to start waddling around. Why are humans so good at complex things, but so terrible at simple stuff like walking? It turns out two of our defining human characteristics, our brain size and our upright walking, are at odds with each other. The hypothesis is, when our ancestors came down from the trees and started walking across the savanna three to six million years ago, a more upright posture was an advantage. It used less energy than knuckling on all fours, allowing our extremely great grandparents to cover large distances more easily. To support this upright stance, our hips had to change shape, and with this change in shape came a narrowing of the birth canal. According to Cal State Fullerton anthropologist John Bach, this is where our delayed ambulatory skills come from. Your brain has to be developed enough to control all your limbs before you can start walking. But this brain development makes your head bigger, and if your head is bigger, you can't get through the birth canal, and if you can't get through the birth canal, you don't get born. Not so smart with your big brain now, are you, you stuck genius baby? To work around the dilemma, babies are born with comparatively underdeveloped brains. They also need soft skulls so they can squish their way out of mama. The bones in our skulls aren't fused together at birth, leaving room for our brains to double in size in our early years. So for us to become smarter, we had to start out dumber and vulnerable. There's an inspiring Instagram post in there somewhere. Once you take into account that we're born with less developed brains than our animal friends, the reasons for our time spent as rugrats makes a little bit more sense. In 2009, Martin Garwich of Lund University in Sweden authored a study comparing how long various mammals took to start walking. He and his team compared 24 species looking at what their brain size was when they took their first steps relative to their final adult brain size. Garwich formed a timeline predicting when a species would get off the ground, and crucially, the timeline starts at conception, not birth. With conception as the starting point, humans began walking when they hit the same developmental milestones as other animals. For example, horses are walking in just a few hours, but that's because they spend up to a year in the womb and their brains are almost fully developed at birth. Garwich also explored whether our bipedalism delays us compared to our quadruped pals, and found that it does have a small effect. The added complexity of heel-to-toe walking makes us hit our stride a little later. That characteristic, along with our less developed brains at birth, means we take baby steps towards taking baby steps. So now you know why humans take a long time to walk, but what about some other interesting factoids? For awesome and insightful videos about humans, animals, and more, check out the work of our friends over at Did You Know? Prairie dogs say hello with kisses. Hi. So we can walk upright eventually like everyone else, except snakes, sorry snakes, but we can never walk up walls like spiders. To learn why you can never be Spider-Man and ruin your whole day, check out Trace's video here. Spiders generate three to four times their body weight and surface force, allowing them to quickly jump, attack, move, or carry their own prey. The problem is, the larger some body is, the less able they are of taking advantage of Van der Waals forces. This video was inspired by a viewer question on Facebook. Thanks, Jorge. If you'd like to ask us a question, there are tons of ways to ask. You can do it down in the comments or on our Reddit at r slash dnews. Subscribe for more, and I will see you next time on dnews.